Let's go look at this guys this triangle formation we broke down as expected as we talked about in yesterday's video this played out perfectly right now we are finding support right here where are we going to go are we going to go all the way down here on the breakdown of this triangle I want to talk about that I'm also going to talk about my positions here on Femix and on Bybit. This is going completely according to plan. And now you might say, well, that's weird. Is your plan to be down on these positions? No, obviously not. But for those of you who have been watching my strategy video right here, you know that my strategy is to buy these altcoins as they go down at certain points. And then once they really take off, that is when I'm going to reap the reward. So I'm going to update you on that. I also want to talk about exactly which levels am I going to buy the altcoins at if we actually continue to go lower here. And finally, we will round it up with some micro strategy news who are completely crazy about Bitcoin right now. They want to convert everything they have and their mother into Bitcoin, it seems. So yeah, I will give you my perspective on that. Welcome back, everybody. It's Satoshi Stacker. My name is Cristiano, where you subscribe for a cryptocurrency video every day. If you are not yet subscribed, make sure to do that right now. And with that said, let's jump into the charts right now. And we are actually going to kick it off where we left off yesterday on this triangle here on the four hour chart. And as you can see, this was very clean and we broke down to it. And right now we are finding support at 18,640. This is major support, this red line right here. This is actually pretty strong. It goes all the way back to the 18th of November here on the four hour chart. And you can see that we found support multiple times right here. Sorry, this was very clear resistance. And you can see that this was resistance right here on the way down. Actually, we find some support broke down and then again on the way up massive resistance right here broke out of it support right here and then the rest is history found support multiple times here as well but now let's talk about the targets out of this triangle we talked about this yesterday but it's very important to reiterate this right now so if we were to break to the upside this is obviously not going to play out but that would have been a good move now we broke down to the downside what you have to be really careful about right now is something i'm going to show you soon because you usually see these kind of fake downs or fake breakdowns and then we get into the triangle again and I'm going to talk about that scenario as well but right now the measured move out of this formation right now is actually supposed to take us down to 17,200 eventually. Now this is not going to happen straight away. We are going to have these relief rallies if this is actually going to play out. But just know that that is the technical target out of the breakdown of this triangle. Now this is interesting. So you can see we are finding support right here and we are having a mini rally up right now and i want to show you something on my other chart right here so we are still on the four hour chart and if we go to some of these previous patterns you can see that we broke down right here but then pretty much immediately we got into it again we found some resistance here but then eventually we broke out of it and then that pattern played its course and then you also have you know this triangle we were watching here on this channel right here on the four hourly chart you can see that at the apex we actually had a breakdown right here now this was massive this was from 18,400 and we went down two percent on this four hourly candle went up again and then we had a massive breakout all the way up to twenty thousand dollars so let's do it the other way around now at this point we were actually flirting with breaking the previous all-time high and so we had this triangle forming and then we broke our all-time high we went all the way up to nineteen thousand five hundred and eighty sorry five hundred and eight right here i think that was actually the break of most all-time highs on different exchanges they were mostly like 19,500 we you know generally say 20,000 but on most exchanges it was between 19,300 to 19,700 so yeah we had that pump out of this but then eventually we broke down so you're seeing these kind of fake outs out of this formation so are we going to see the same thing right here well, that is obviously something that you need to keep your eyes on. But this is what we also talked about yesterday on the one hour, actually. So if I go to the one hour, we talked about this potentially being a triangle. And in that case, it could look something like this. We also talked about it maybe being somewhat of a channel like this. 
So in either way, this broke down. And again, we're finding support at 18,660. And I also posted this on Twitter. If you are not following me on Twitter, make sure to follow me right now. I posted this, I gave you a very quick update as this was happening. Support at 18,640, and then we will take it from there. Looking at the macro trend right here though, we are still making higher lows and also making lower highs. So just like we talked about yesterday, this is energy just contracting right here, and we are going to see a big move eventually. Now, was this the move? I don't think so. I think we are going to see a much more violent move. And if we check the volume, this is decent volume, absolutely. I still think that you're going to see a couple of more candles, either to the downside or to the upside. But this just shows me that there's a lot of buying happening right now. There's a lot of people buying up the supply because Look, we had this dump, and I mean, how, how low was this? This was 2.8% here from the top of this candle, and the volume was decent, meaning that a lot of people actually bought up this dip. So I am keeping my eyes on this. As always, I am going to keep you updated. On the one day, as usual, I want to take a look at the seven day moving average, and you can see that since we broke down below it and we actually closed here, we went above it, we found support on the bottom of the candles, and this is something that usually happens. This usually acts as support either on the very low on the wick or the body of the candle. So that is definitely something you can keep your eyes on. But you can see that this is very clearly below it right now. And if we close like this, this makes me slightly more bearish actually. But you know my general stance. I've been talking about this as we were breaking all time high and everyone were popping their champagne. I said, I do not trust this until... You know it, until we are above this brown area right here. Until we are above this brown area, I am not going to trust this rally. I want to see us close above it, and I want us to actually have sustainable price action above it. And I don't even know what I'm doing right now. There we go. So with sustainable price action, what I mean with that is that I want us to actually go above this brown area. I want us to close a couple of candles, preferably on the daily, but on the four hour and then go down, retest this, give the bears the opportunity to actually push this down. And then I want the bulls to come in and you know, signal that yes, we are going to take off again. So that is what I want to see here, guys. Until then, I'm not trusting this. I still think that there is somewhat of a likely chance for us to go down and fill our bags at any of these levels. Now, how low? Well, I don't think that 13,800 is completely out of the question. I would be a bit surprised to see anything lower than that. I mean, 10,000, is it completely out of the realm of possibilities? I mean, this is Bitcoin, anything can happen, but I mean, I'm not holding my breath for these two positions right here at uh, 12,000 and 13,000, but I mean, definitely these positions, I'm going to fill my bags. And if we actually go down here, I'm obviously going to fill my bags heavily, but I still think that there is a decent chance that we can hit any of these levels right here. Now, I actually want to talk about something else. So look at this correlation right here on the S&P 500. This is the futures. And you can see that from December 6th, we've actually gone down here on the S&P 500. And on Bitcoin, December 6th, where is that? That's actually right here at this top. So we have gone down on Bitcoin. And during this same period, we have actually also gone down here on the future. So we still have that correlation. I would say that the market's opening today in a couple of hours. That is going to have an impact on Bitcoin as well. But on the weekly, we still have the 20 exponential move in average right here. And this is going to act as massive support should we go down and actually test this. So during bull markets, this holds like a boss. You saw some deviation right here, but usually this is very, very strong. So at the very least, expect a massive bounce. Now, these are pretty low levels. I mean, we're talking about 16,500 and this is rising, but I'm always obviously going to keep you updated. If something like that were to happen, I am going to give you an update in real time on Twitter on my YouTube channel. So before we talk about micro strategy, I want to talk about my positions here on Bybit. I want to talk about my positions on Femex. And by the way, if you want to trade on Femex and Bybit and you want to get $1,290 for free, then make sure to use these links right here. Use this link for Bybit, this link for Femex, 
and then you deposit any of these amounts and you are going to get some money. So what you can do is you can just deposit this and once you get the bonus, you can just trade with the bonus. That's completely fine. That's a risk-free trade. So yeah, that is definitely something I think that you should consider. But right now on Bybit, right now on Femex, this is going completely according to plan. And if we go down lower here on Bitcoin, I'm going to get a golden opportunity to load up and bring in down my average cost of these positions. Now remember, these are long-term trades and the reason why I didn't go full, you know, all in on these positions is because, you know, I'm going to build this during this bull market, buying on every dip, every significant dip, I should say. So the next level in which I'm going to add some more to my old compositions is if we actually reach this level right here, 17,235. I'm going to buy some more altcoins. Why this? Well, this is the target out of this triangle. That is the first thing. And then secondary, we have a lot of support down here. As I showed you, the 20 week exponential moving average is in that vicinity because it is rising. It is going to reach that level eventually. And so from a risk reward ratio standpoint, that is very, very good in my opinion. So, so as these positions go down, obviously I have to cover these positions. That's why you see a liquidation price of, you know, zero dollars. I had to add some USD to my cross margin so that I don't get liquidated. So you always have to keep track of the margin. You do not want to get liquidated. So yes, that is what I am doing, guys. Let's move on. Let's talk about MicroStrategy issuing $400 million in securities to buy more Bitcoin. This is interesting. So the world's largest publicly traded business intelligence firm, MicroStrategy, has announced plans to invest the proceeds from a 400 million securities offerings into Bitcoin. So they are issuing securities and they are going to buy Bitcoin with the proceeds. And you have to ask yourself, and actually, let's continue reading. I will uh, elaborate on that a bit later. So on December the 7th, the firm revealed plans to issue 400 million in convertible senior notes, a debt security that can be converted into the issuing company's shares. The announcement stated, MicroStrategy intends to invest the net proceeds from the sale of the notes in Bitcoin. So that begs the question, at what point does a securities offering that raises dollars with the purpose of investing in Bitcoin make a publicly listed company to be a listed fund and investment company? That is a very legit question because, you know, he has a lot of Bitcoin himself and MicroStrategy has a lot of Bitcoin. How much do they have? Well, they have 40,800 Bitcoin right now. That is 0.2% of the circulating supply. So it's actually completely insane how much Bitcoin they have. And the stock has been rising. And this is very, very logical because, you know, they invested into Bitcoin. And as the Bitcoin price rises, if they have a lot of Bitcoin on their balance sheet, then the value of the company is going to rise as well. And so the price of the share is going to rise. So is this just a proxy for Bitcoin right now? I mean, this is, is this just going to follow the Bitcoin price? I don't know what Michael Saylor's uh, purpose of this is, but he's investing a lot of money in Bitcoin. He really believes in it. That's fine. I mean, it's completely, I love it. He's evangelizing. It's very important. I think that micro strategy is one of the most important factors to Bitcoin actually being so bullish right now and have been so throughout 2020. So I love them for that. But as a shareholder in the company with them going and, you know, investing all they can into Bitcoin, I guess as Bitcoin continues to rise, they are going to be very happy themselves. But yeah, it's a interesting and risky play, I have to say, though. If I am to speak freely for a bit, I have to say this. I think that micro strategy, I mean, he's so convinced about Bitcoin's greatness. He wants to be this kind of prophet for Bitcoin in some way. I think it's not stupid. He knows what he's doing. And in order for the institutions and the you know legit asset managers to think of Bitcoin as a legit asset class, someone has to create these headlines. And you know, he's doing it. And he's sacrificing his own, you know, if Bitcoin goes down, he's not going to go down in history as the most sensible CEO. But if Bitcoin goes up, he's going to become this prophet. And also obviously. Obviously, the shareholders are going to be very happy. So he's betting it all on Bitcoin right now. He's going down or up with the ship, so to speak. I love it, but it's a ballsy move. All right, guys, popping up in the middle of this video right now is my 100x altcoin strategy. So if you've been watching these videos and you don't know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about my strategy, it's popping up in the middle of this video right now. Watch it. I will see you right there.